Colorado High School Activities Association Baseball is on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network this afternoon from Holy Family High School. It's the visiting Fort Morgan Mustangs against the Holy Family Tigers. I'm John Beltran with Holy Family, the seventh team right now in the RPI. They are 10 and one on the season while the Mustangs are seven and five, actually seven and four, but they would drop to seven and five considering they're gonna have a huge challenge here against Holy Family. The Mustangs 23rd in the RPI in 4A and coming off that tough six to four loss on Saturday on the road against Severance. Momentarily, we'll bring you the starting lineups. The Mustangs in their road grays and Holy Family with the purple jerseys and the white pants. They met a couple of times two years ago and Holy Family won both games during the regular season, but both teams were able to advance to the final four. We didn't start at 3.30 as scheduled because the umpire showed up about a minute after 3.30, but we'll be starting here in just a few minutes. And then we'll bring you the Mustang starting lineup. After today, Fort Morgan has just one road game remaining, and that's next Tuesday at Mead. They'll have a doubleheader Saturday at noon against Greeley West at 4 o'clock against Northridge, and then close out the regular season on Thursday against Erie. Time for a break on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's get to the Mustang starting lineup here for this Thursday afternoon game in Broomfield. Batting first for Fort Morgan will be the center fielder, Briggs Wheatley. The second hitter is the catcher, Jackson Langford. Hitting third is shortstop, Nick Beltran. Jesse Camp at first, it's fourth. Braden Fajardo hits fifth. Batting sixth is the right fielder, K.O. Langford. In the seventh position is left fielder, Malachi Bills. Batting eighth is Frank Ortega and Colin Farley. The pitcher will be batting ninth. Now defensively, Jared Delgado's at first for Holy Family. The second baseman is Bainsberger. We don't have the first name on him. A new addition to the roster, Jaden Delgado at third. Blake Hammond is in between him at short. Brennan Bennett is in left. The center fielder is Connor Cooney. And right is Ryan Chacon. Behind the plate is Andrew Syverson. And on the mound is Isaac Sifkin, a hard-throwing right-hander. Holy Family at 10 and 1. Opening pitch is brought to you by High Plains Bank. And the fastball is a strike down the middle at the knees. The Mustangs will be going with Colin Farley. So we have a hard throwing right hander. And Farley likes to work both sides of the plate. He won't bring the same heat as Sifkin. Wheatley having an excellent season for the Mustangs. The right hander comes home. Fastball is swung on and foul back. Wheatley hitting 350 on the season. He had three base hits against Severance in a 6-4 to four loss. And as you could imagine, with a 10-1 and one team, the numbers on Skif Sifkin are pretty good, which we'll get to here momentarily. And the pitch. Fastball is up and away. Sifkin at 2-0 and with a 2.380 RA. One ball and two strikes. Holy Family seventh in the RPI. The Mustangs at number 23. They take 24 into the tournament. And the breaking ball's up and away. Ball two, strike two to Briggs Wheatley. Just underway. First pitch was at 338. And it is warm here. The pitch swung on and grounded right side. First baseman bobbles. Now throws to the pitcher covering. And that's going to be in time. Whoa, that was close. Bobbled by Delgado. Looked like that was a bang-bang play at first. But Wheatley is out. That could have gone either way. Nice job of Sifkin covering on the other hand toss. But it looks like, well, I, I thought they stepped on the base at virtually the same time. Here's Jackson Langford hitting 342, hitting from the right side. Wind and pitch, and the breaking ball is tapped foul up the third base side. Count is no balls and one strike. Here to Jackson Langford. This is Fort Morgan's toughest game of the season considering the quality of the opponent. 360 in the alley, 320 down the left field and right field lines. 
Not a huge ballpark here in Broomfield. No balls and one strike. And the pitch. And that's a fastball for a strike on the outer half at the knees. It's 0-2. No balls and two strikes here to Jackson Lankford. One out in top of the first inning. And Sifkin comes home. And the breaking ball is up and in. One and two. Game time temperature, 82 degrees in Broomfield. One ball and two strikes. Laying down the sign is Cybers in the pitch. Swung on and fouled up the third base side of the chopper. Count remains at one and two. Yeah, Holy Family is solid year after year. They've got three state championships to their credit. The first one was in 2000 and back-to-backs in 13 and 14. A Final Four team in 2019, as was Fort Morgan. One ball and two strikes. Righty against righty. Sifkin gets the sign and the pitch. Swung on, lined, and a base hit into right center field. Langford's going to round first. He'll hold up right there as the ball is flagged down by Connor Cooney. And that'll send up Nick Beltran. Nice job on that one-two pitch going the other way. As Beltran steps in. Here against the right-hander. Sifkin stretches and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Boy, he pulled his front side big time. No balls and one strike. Yeah, Beltran's got to be more disciplined with that swing. 0-1. Sifkin. A short lead for Langford at first. And the offering. Swung on and foul tipped into the glove of the catcher. No balls and two strikes. Beltran hitting 343 going into this game. 0 oh and 2 here to Beltran. One out, one on. Let's see if he goes with a breaking ball. The offering, and that bounces in and blocked there by Syverson. One ball and two strikes. One and two to the number three hitter, Nick Beltran. Sifkin looks in. Gets a sign. Long pause. And the offering. Swung on. And that ball is laced in the left field for a base hit. Going the other way. Langford to second. Watch out. Don't get caught too far off. And Beltran, like Langford, gets base hits on a 1-2 pitch. Well, that'll set it up here for the number four hitter. Jesse Campa. And Nick did the same thing Jackson did. He went the other way. Thought he could sneak that fastball right by him. Jesse Campa is hitting 229. Runners take their leads and the offering. Fastball is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Well, they can extend the pitch count. We always talk about that with top-notch pitchers. 15 so far in the opening inning. And the pitch swung on. That is tapped over the mound. That's going to be a tough play off the pitcher's glove. And the throw by the shortstop to first is in time. That's an excellent play. Barehanded by the Holy Family shortstop, Blake Hammond. That will go 1-6-3. to six to three. And there's two down. The runners are in scoring position. Well, that's a great play there by Hammond. That's not an easy play at all. Here is Braden Fajardo. Fajardo hitting 214. Out of the windup with two down. No score here in the top of the first inning. The Mustangs have back to back hits the pitch. Swung on. That ball is hit foul off to the right side. No balls and one strike. And I believe Brian Nickel is sweating. Are you sweating at all, Brian? Okay, and so am I. Top of the first inning. Didn't take long. We'll, we'll check it. Is Ryan Wheatley sweating? Is Ryan sweating? All right, that's three for three. And maybe, <laughs> no, no, just the boys. No balls, one strike the pitch. And that's down and away with a fastball. The count levels at one and one. Well, 
Well, the Mustangs have done a nice job hitting the ball on the ground against this pitcher. Four ground balls, two went for base hits. Actually, Langford's was a line drive. One ball, one strike, two down. Fajardo awaits the pitch, and the breaking ball is in the dirt and blocked there by Syverson. That would have scored a run. Instead, it's ball two, strike one. They'll make some adjustments on Saturday. Braden will not be here for those games against Greeley West and Northridge. That'll weaken the defense considerably, but Fort Morgan will have to make the proper changes. Two balls and one strike. Cale Langford is on deck. And the pitch. Swing and a foul on a fastball up at the letters. The letters FMHS. Ball two, strike two. Big, big pitch coming up here to Fajardo. Even though we're just in the first inning, and the Mustangs taking on a team that is headed for the playoffs. Fort Morgan is on the cusp right now. The stretch and the offering swung on and chopped foul up the first base side. Count remains at two and two. It's 81, but it feels closer to maybe 85, 86. Uh, the breeze is kicking up just a bit. But if you look at the flag out there in left center field, to the right of the scoreboard from our vantage point, that flag is limp. There is no movement. So there was a breeze that I thought was kicking up, but that could be imagination and age. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Syverson lays down the sign. And the pitch swung on and chopped foul up the third base side. Good plate appearance here by Braden Fajardo. And it's still two and two. This for Fort Morgan is not necessarily a playoff game, but it's against playoff type competition. That's why you want to fare well in this game, whether you win or lose. Two balls, two strikes once again. The stretch and the pitch, and that's in the dirt. Ball three, strike two. Here to Braden Fajardo. Here in the top of the first inning, we started about eight minutes late. Let's see if Fajardo can make Holy Family pay. Awaiting the payoff pitch. Here it is. In the dirt. It's a walk. One with a breaking ball. And the bases are loaded for K.O. Langford. And if anything, Sifkin has thrown 24 pitches already. Which means he's down to 86. And I know that sounds like a lot. But we're not out of the first inning yet. When you have a 110 pitch limit with three days rest, you'd like to limit them to eh, 15, no more than 16 pitches an inning. K.O. Langford hitting from the right side, batting 323. Swung on line, right center field. That's a base hit. That's going to score one. And now Beltran around third. He will score. K.O. Langford with a two out, two run single. And the Mustangs lead two to nothing in the top of the first inning as they took a fastball into right center field. Third hit for the Mustangs. And Kale hit that beautifully. That'll bring up Malachi Bills. Malachi was leading the team in hitting and actually still is despite going 0 for 4 on Saturday at 371. Good inning for Fort Morgan. The pitch. And that bounces in and bounces away. Fajardo to third. Now the throw to second. And Langford is in there as Syverson tried to throw and nail the trail runner. And now the count is at one ball and no strikes. On the wild pitch, two more ducks in the pond. The number seven hitter for Fort Morgan up in the count. Nice job of Kale just swinging at that first pitch because Sifkin has thrown a lot of strikes. The stretch, chest level, the pitch, swing and a miss. Out in front of that pitch, tailing away. Count levels at one and one. Now, Holy Family has won a lot of games pretty easily. Their lone loss came to Windsor six to four. And time is called by Bills. And you know that Fort Morgan is going to need a lot of runs against a lineup like Holy Families. And the 1-1. One, one. 
And that bounces in and right underneath the catcher with a fastball. I tell you what, lots of pitches in the dirt here in the early going. The count is sitting at two balls and one strike. Two to nothing, Fort Morgan. And we are in the top of the first inning. Sifkin gets a sign, the offering. Swung on, grounded up the middle, base! No, it's fielded by the second baseman. Throw off his back foot, is late, it'll score a run. It would have scored two, great play by Bainsberger. It saves a second run, but crossing home plate is Fajardo on the infield hit there from Malachi Bills, it's three to nothing. And the Mustangs have four hits of the inning. And again, doing a nice job going the other way. And Sifkin's ERA was just over 2.3 going into this game, and it's gone up already. And here is Frank Ortega, who had a home run and an RBI single on the loss to Severance. Ortega is hitting 206. Well, this has the makings of a, a lengthy game with the way Fort Morgan is swinging, because you know Holy Family is going to bring the bats. And Colin Farley's making just his second start of the year on the hill. Sifkin still not out of this jam. Holy Family hitting 368 as a team. The pitch, and that bounces in again. On pitch number 30 of the first inning. Here from Sifkin. Runners take their leads. At the corners with two down. The Mustangs have three runs, all with two outs. The pitch and the breaking ball is a strike, and now a delayed steal of second by Malachi Bills with no throw. So two more in scoring position here for Ortega. One ball, one strike. Off of third is Langford. Bills at second. Sifkin fires, and that one bounces in again. One with a fastball, it's two and one. Yeah, we are broadcasting up the first base side, so a nice overhead angle, but not behind the plate. They don't have that possibility here in Broomfield. Long first half inning. 2-1, and a check swing, and he went, and the ball gets away, but not far enough. Frankie was fooled on the breaking ball, it's two and two. Two and two to Ortega. Fort Morgan had 12 hits on Saturday in the loss to Severance. They've got four here today. Runners again take their leads with two down in the first inning. The pitch outside. Three and two. Three balls, two strikes to Ortega. Holy Family's got to be stunned. This first inning is taking this long. The pitch and the breaking ball. He did not go. He did not go there. He definitely did not swing. They don't want to ring him up there. Yeah, he did not swing. It's a walk. And the bases are loaded for Colin Farley. Yeah, Farley's had a good season, hitting 316 out of the nine hole. And the Mustangs have batted all nine, unless there's a pickoff here in the, to end the first inning. Out of the windup with the bases full of Mustangs. Three to nothing, Fort Morgan. The right-hander, Sifkin, gets the sign and fires. Fastball down the middle for a strike. Knee high, it's 0-1, and Sifkin brought a little extra there. No balls and one strike. Syverson lays down the sign. Farley awaits. Here's the pitch. Swung on and chopped down the third base side foul. I'm not sure why Langford was holding up. There's two down. You got to run regardless. But at least he was in foul territory, so Kale's doing that correctly. But you want to take off because you never know if that ball spins back into fair territory. No balls and two strikes. In a big time hole now is Colin Farley. The pitch, and did he wave at it? And apparently not, and now Langford headed towards the plate, and they better, they did not call this a swing. I don't think they called it as a swing. 
And let's see, I, I don't think he swung, but they might ring him up here. Collins should have taken off for first. I don't think he swung, but let's see. No, he did not swing. All right. Boy, with that delay, you get worried. On the wild pitch, Langford scores. That could have been a mess there. And it's four to nothing. Two more runners in scoring position. And a one ball, two strike count. And that was bounced up there on the breaking ball. Sifkin has thrown 38 pitches so far. And the Mustangs have a four spot. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. Farley strikes out. But the Mustangs pick up four runs on four hits. There were no errors. And two men left. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Fort Morgan four. Holy Family is coming to bat on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back at Holy Family High School in Broomfield. We head to the bottom of the first inning. The Mustangs picked up four runs against Isaac Sifkin. And the lineup goes like this. Andrew Syverson bats first. The second hitter is the left fielder, Brennan Bennett. Connor Cooney, center fielder, hits third. Jared Delgado at first is the cleanup hitter. The shortstop, Blake Hammond, hits fifth. Right fielder, Ryan Chacon, hits sixth. Bainsberger, the second baseman, hits seventh. Isaac Sifkin hits eighth. And Jaden Delgado, the third baseman, will be batting ninth for the Mustangs defensively. It's Jesse Camp at first. The second baseman is Braden Fajardo. Nick Beltran at short over at third is Frank Ortega. In left field is Malachi Bills. Briggs Wheatley in center. K.O. Langford in right. Behind the plate is Jackson Langford. K.O.'s catching. All right, now we got a change there. K.O. is catching. Thank you, Brian. And Jackson in right field. They might have made that change. I didn't catch it here before the game. So Kale Langford behind the plate and Colin Farley, who got the no decision against Mountain View, is on the hill. And here is Andrew Syverson out of the stretch with the bases empty. Fastball is up and in. Just cannot aim it at this point. 333 is the average. Colin had issues with that aiming against Mountain View and was able to register outs, but also had some issues finding the strike zone. One ball and no strikes. The pitch, down and in. Yeah, you've been given a four nothing lead. Now you've gotta make it possible for your teammates to help you out defensively. Two and oh. The stretch and the offering. Swung on line, base hit into left center field. And Briggs Wheatley will field it on two hops and Syverson leads off the bottom of the first with a base knock. That's what happens when you fall behind quickly. Here is Brennan Bennett. Bennett hitting 316, another right-handed hitter. And it looks like uh, we'll have a courtesy runner. Let's see, that courtesy runner is Dylan Dahlgren. Dahlgren, the courtesy runner. Two-step lead at first. Farley. Delivers. That is a strike with a fastball at the knees down the middle. It's 0-1. 4 o'clock Mountain Time. Live in Broomfield, Colorado. This is Morgan County's B-106, KPRB, Brush Fort Morgan. I'm John Beltran. The Mustangs lead Holy Family 4-0, bottom of the first inning. But the Tigers have their first chance here at bat. The offering and the breaking ball is down and away. One ball and one strike. Holy Family has one loss this year and 10 wins. The Mustangs are seven and four. The wind begins to kick up as indicated by the action from the U.S. flag. Inside nearly hit him with a fastball. Two and one. Yeah, you're essentially throwing your number four or five pitcher here. Briggs Wheatley is not healthy right now to pitch. Nick Beltran, Jesse Campa. And then Frank Ortega. Colin is your number five. 2-1. Swung on. That ball is lifted into right center field. A long run. It's a base hit in the gap. And Jackson Langford will get to it. That might score a run. Now rounding third. Beltran will throw to the plate. And that's going to be late. That'll score Dahlgren all the way from first on the RBI double from Brennan Bennett. It's 4-1. 
And they could have had him at the plate, but there was no talking there. Took a while to get the ball back in. They might have had a play at the plate. Here's the left-handed hitting Connor Cooney, batting 342. Collins got to get that first out. Sifkin got two outs fairly quickly, the first and the fourth hitters, and then the, the third out was very difficult for him. Holy Family's begun the bottom of the first with back-to-back -back base knocks. The pitch, that's a strike with a fastball down the middle, thigh high, it's 0-1. And again, if Fort Morgan loses this game, it's not a lot on their RPI because of the quality of the opponent. But if you can pull this off, that would go a long way towards making the playoffs. The pitch, breaking ball is grounded foul up the first base side. No balls and two strikes. If Farley can go at least four, that would be a huge benefit to Fort Morgan. If you can't get through the fourth inning, that's gonna be an issue. Jackson Langford is in waiting. He would pitch here, and so could Nick Beltran. And the pitch swung on and fouled off to the left on a fastball down in the zone. No balls and two strikes. Four to one in favor of Holy Fort Morgan here in the bottom of the first inning. Holy Family is at the plate. The number three hitter, Connor Cooney. The pitch swung on and grounded right side. First baseman Campbell will step on the back. Colin Farley did not go over to cover. He's got to get his head in the game there. That's not a good play by Farley. You got to cover regardless, and there's one down, three unassisted. Yeah, that, that is indication of the level of concentration. He knows that. You got to cover there regardless of the outcome. Here is Jared Delgado. Boy, this guy's tearing it up. Delgado is hitting 520. The stretch and the pitch. Swung on line, base hit down the left field line, headed for the corner. This will be two bases for Jared Delgado. And Malachi Bills tracks it down, and it's 4-2. to two. As scoring is Brennan Bennett. The fastball was fat right down the middle. And they are hitting... Farley pretty hard. That's two doubles already. Here is Blake Hammond, another right-handed hitter. Hammond hitting 361. Farley looking back. And the pitch. Fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, the Mustangs are going to have to win a high-scoring game here. And we have conversation between the Holy Family coach and the field umpire that looked fairly animated. One ball and no strikes. Four to two, Fort Morgan, bottom of the first inning. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's about, but it was something that Holy Family, I guess, was not doing or doing incorrectly. I don't know. The stretch and the pitch swung on and driven deep in the left field. Going back as Bill still going back, reaches out, makes the catch up against the fence. Back to second is Jared Delgado robbing Blake Hammond of an extra base hit. There's two down. He could not go back any further or his backside would have been pressed up against the fence. Here's Ryan Chacon, but Farley's getting really hit hard here in the first inning. 467 is the average for the left-handed hitter. The stretch and the offering, and it's off the glove of Langford on the breaking pitch. Now the throw to third and the slide and the tag, and he got him! Oh, they're gonna call him out! I think the Mustangs got a big break there. They got a big break there, there's no doubt about it. I think he was in there. Caught stealing or picked off. And that does it here in the first inning. Two runs on three hits. And the bases were left empty. We head to the second inning. It is Fort Morgan four, Holy Family two. 
Mustang Baseball is brought to you in part by Stubbs Gas and Oil on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back with you in Broomfield as we head to the second inning. Oh, they, I tell you, Holy Family, not happy about that call, and I don't blame them. 4-2 to two, Fort Morgan on the, on, the tag out at third. Langford had a perfect throw. Kale did to Frank Ortega on that close to what should have been a wild pitch. Briggs Wheatley swings and grounds that ball. Wide up first, a beautiful backhanded play. And there's one down as stepping on the bag off the dive was Jared Delgado. There's one down. Wow, that's a great play on that hard grounder to his right. And Wheatley is now 0 for 2. That'll send up Jackson Langford, singled and scored in the first inning. Isaac Sifkin threw 39 pitches in the first, but has retired the first hitter on one pitch here in the second. And the offering swung on and fouled to the backstop. No balls and one strike. Again, these were two final four teams in 2019. No season last year due to the pandemic. Laying down the sign is Cyberson. The pitch and the breaking ball bounces in. Seen a lot of those so far here from Sifkin. One ball, one strike. Fill up your cooler, gas up your car. Stubbs gas and oil, easy and convenient. The pitch, that one bounces to the backstop. Ball two, strike one. Here to Jackson Langford. Went the other way for his base hit. Seven hits combined in the game. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He didn't read that at all. That would have been ball three on the breaking ball. Threw that one down and away. Two balls and two strikes. Langford with a wide stance from the right side. The pitch, and that one bounces in. Yeah, Sifkin obviously does not have his A stuff today. Really not even close. Not if he's throwing these pitches in the dirt. Three balls, two strikes. One down and the base is empty in the second. Fort Morgan, four, Holy Family, two. It'll be a payoff pitch coming up. Here it is. Swung on and chopped over the mound. The shortstop Hammond charges, fields, throws, out. Two down. Here's Nick Beltran, singled and scored in the first inning. Mustang scored all their runs with two outs. The pitch, swing and a miss. One with a fastball down and in, and it's 0-1. Yeah, he didn't look good to begin the at-bat last time, then hit it into left field. He's got a good two-strike swing. The offering, that one bounces to the catcher. And the count levels at one ball and one strike. So Sifkin can get out of this in uh, 10 pitches. He's thrown just nine in the inning. Beltran awaits. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss again. He's missing that by a mile. Got to adjust there. One and two. Those pitches are down in the zone. One ball, two strikes. Sifkin gets the sign, the offering, and that one bounces to the catcher again. It's two and two. On deck is Jesse Campa. Two balls, two strikes. The offering. Swing and a miss, and the ball gets away. He's going to reach there if he can get the first in time, and Beltran's going to get there. It's a strikeout. It is a strikeout on a breaking ball in the dirt that skipped away. So he's able to reach safely. So Beltran at first here for Campa, who grounded a short his first time up. Beltran now officially one for two, despite the fact he's on base again. One step lead. The pitch in the dirt, scooped up by Syverson. One ball and no strikes. Sifkin is almost halfway to 110. That's good news for Fort Morgan. 
Bell trying a very short lead. Pitch to Campa, and that one bounces in and backhanded beautifully. Cyberson has really done a nice job behind the plate. I mean, they have fed him a lot of balls in the dirt. 2-0. and oh. So, by the way, for this pitcher, Sifkin, that is his second strikeout. The pitch in the dirt again. 3-0. and oh. Well, Brayden Fajardo could get a chance to hit in this inning. No doubt that Campo will be taking here 3-0 in the dirt again on a fastball down and away. Here is Brayden Fajardo, and for Sifkin, that is his third walk. He's also thrown three wild pitches. There'll be a visit to the hill. And there's no way he's going to make it through seven. No way. He's just trying to make it through the second. Fajardo walked his first time up. Four to two, Fort Morgan, top of the second inning. Mustangs looking for a two-out rally. Beltran struck out. But the wild pitch was able to get him on at first base. And Campa just walked on four pitches. So here is Fajardo. And again, you've got to score in virtually every inning because... Holy Family can swing the bats, and Fort Morgan's going with their number five starter. It's a lot of pressure there on Farley. Runners take their leads. The stretch, the pitch, swing and a miss. He took a huge hack at that on a fastball down in the zone. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike to Fajardo. That was pitch number 56 for Sifkin. Beltran at second, Camp at first. The offering, and that bounces away up the first base side. The runners advance. Fourth wild pitch thrown by Sifkin. Wow. One ball, one strike. Yeah, this is crazy. As well as he's thrown all season, doesn't have it today. Can Fajardo make him pay? Out of the stretch with runners at second and third. Fajardo awaits the offering. In the dirt, scooped up by Cyberson. Ball two, strike one. Runners take their leads. Sifkin looks back. The pitch, swing and a miss. Oh, man. Uh, Brayden cannot swing like he wants to hit it 800 feet. I mean, he came twisted out of his body right there. And that pitch was near the ankles. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two on. Four to two, Fort Morgan top two. Sifkin gets the sign. The pitch outside with a fastball. Three balls and two strikes. That was pitch number 60. He's down to 50 pitches. We're not out of the second. Again, Syverson lays down the sign. Three and two, the pitch. Swung on and tapped foul on the breaking ball up the third base side. Nice adjustment there by Braden Fajardo. It'll be another 3-2 pitch coming up. And he's going wind-up this time. He's going wind-up. Three balls, two strikes. Pitch to Braden. Swing and a miss on a fastball in the outer half. And the Mustangs go down in the top of the second. No runs, no hits, no errors. And two men left. An inning and a half complete. Mustang baseball brought to you in part by High Plains Bank and Wiggins. The score. It is Fort Morgan 4, Holy Family 2 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. John Beltran back in Broomfield. 4-2, Fort Morgan leads Holy Family early on in this game. 
as we move just to the bottom of the second inning. And Holy Family will be sending up their six, seven, and eight hitters. Ryan Chacon was up there when the runner was picked off going to third. He'll lead off Bainsberger to follow in Isaac Sifkin against right-hander Colin Farley. It was tagged for three hits, two of those doubles in the first. And the pitch swung on and hit over the mound. The shortstop Beltran behind the bag throws to first, one out. One down here for the number seven hitter. That's Bainsberger, I don't have him at all here. Blaine Bainsberger is the hitter. So now we have the first name. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is a, this got to be a new addition. I don't see him at all with even the stats. The pitch oh, bounces to the screen. One ball and no strikes. Collins' job is simply to throw strikes. If they hit him, they hit him. Allow the defense to make the plays. One out and the base is empty in the second. And the 1-0. Oh, not even close. He's bouncing that one in two. 2-0. Two oh. Again, you've got basically a brand new player there. Don't want to walk him and start a rally. 2-0 to Bainsberger. The stretch. And the offering. Swung on. That ball is lifted foul down the right side. And the count moves to 2-1. and one. A big contrast in pitchers. Sifkin, the power pitcher. Farley working the angles, the corners, and he's thrown a lot fewer pitches than his counterpart. Ball two, strike one. Four to two, Fort Morgan in the bottom of the second inning. This is a Catholic high school here in Broomfield. The pitch, breaking ball is a beauty. Dropped by Langford, but it's right there. It's two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Bainsberger. Let's see if Colin can put him away. He's not going to generate too many strikeouts. You think Colin might get one or two in this game. It's not his game. The pitch swung on and line down the right field line. That's trouble if it's fair. And it's fair along the right field line. He rounds first and headed for second with a one-out double. Third double hit against Farley. And all he did was place it there. Here is Isaac Sifkin. Sifkin batting 545. Man, this lineup is lethal. Lethal. That's why Fort Morgan has got a score in virtually every frame. Let's see. Holy Family has four hits in the game. They got three up there, but they have four now. Three of them doubles. There you go. The stretch. Looking back and the pitch. That's a fastball below the knees. One ball, no strikes. Here to Isaac Sifkin. Engineering and consulting services for all of your projects at Western Engineering Consultants. The offering, down and in. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult to even get a 1-2-3 inning against this team. I mean, they can, they can swing it. Two balls and no strikes. Runner takes his lead, the pitch. Swung on and chopped foul towards the Holy Family dugout on the third base side. Even Brush, when they'd play here, they couldn't beat Holy Family. They beat him in Brush, couldn't beat him here. Tough team at home. Holy Family won here, I believe it was 7-1. to one, And then 8-1 to one in Fort Morgan two years ago. Two balls, one strike, and the pitch. Swung on, hit off the end of the bat slowly towards second. Fajardo bare hands, and he can't make the play. Boy, I'm not sure he needed to bare hand that one. I don't think he needed to bare hand. We'll call that an E. I think if he stops there, he has to play at first. First and third. He had to charge, but I think he could have actually stopped there and thrown to first because that was only about 20-some-odd feet to his left. And here is Jaden Delgado. Well, they'll score to hit. It'll be score to hit. 
on that little roller. Fifth hit for Holy Family, so uh, I've been overruled there, which is fine. It was not an easy play. Here's Delgado out of the nine hole. And the pitch, and that is in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. Got to get this guy out with the top of the lineup right uh, next with his hitter, Cyberson. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, I'm still not sure Brayden had to barehand that. The offering squaring to Bunt, and he missed it. Right through it, one and one. And if you barehand, you want to stop a little bit because, again, he was not getting up that line that well from the right side. One ball, one strike, one out, two on. Four to two, Fort Morgan in the second. The pitch, breaking ball, is grounded off the end of the bat. Farley is going to throw to first. No advance by the lead runner. The trail runner goes to second. There's two down. Nice breaking ball. But you've got two in scoring position for Cyberson, who had a base hit his first time up. That was a good pitch there by Farley and a nice job of fielding his position. Out of the stretch with two down and two in scoring position. Langford lays down the sign. That's Kale Langford. The pitch swung on and driven deep into left field. That's going to go a long way, and that is going to be off the bottom of the fence, scoring two runs. Syverson with a two-out, two-run double has tied the game at four. And there was no doubt about that ball being stroked. Fourth double hit off Farley. Here's Brennan Bennett. He had a double his first time up. And Holy Family now has six hits in the game. A Holy Family's come back from a 4-0 deficit, but that's no surprise. This team is really good. The stretch by Farley. And the pitch. Breaking ball's a strike. Thigh high. It's 0-1 on the inner half. No balls in one strike. Nothing Bills could do there. He was playing towards left center. And that ball was pulled along the line. Fort Morgan fortunate it did not go out. Looking back, the pitch swung on. That ball is driven deep into center field. But Briggs Wheatley is under it, and he makes the catch on that long fly ball. Side retired. And the inning. Two runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We head to the third inning. Fort Morgan and Holy Family are tied at four on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We head to the third inning. Fort Morgan four, Holy Family four. It'll be K.O. Langford who had a two-run, two-out single in the first inning, followed by Malachi Bills and Frank Ortega against... Isaac Sifkin, he's thrown 62 pitches and has been all over the place. And there's no other way to put it. He has struck out three. He has walked three. He has thrown four wild pitches. The pitch swung on and tapped foul to the screen. No balls and one strike. Say hello to the uh, Mustang fans. A big hello to those fans listening in. Jackson Langford is warming up in the right field bullpen. That could be it for Farley. The pitch. Fastball is up and away. There will be activity. I'm sure the Holy Family bullpen as well. One ball and one strike. Langford with a wide stance from the right side. The pitch. Breaking ball is a beauty on the inner half. Knee level. It's one and two. One ball and two strikes to the Mustang catcher. Cyberson lays down the sign and the pitch. Very high with a breaking ball up and in. Ball two, strike two. Four hits for the Mustang, six for Holy Family. And a bunch of extra base hits, four doubles. The pitch bounces in and off the chest protector. I got to tell you, if I'm Cyberson, I would hate to catch this guy today. I would hate it. 
He has thrown so many balls in the dirt. He's going to need an ice bath. Three and two. K.O. ready. And the pitch. That is low. Framed nicely by Syverson, but below the knees, and it's a walk on the fastball away. Nice job of the umpire not buying that frame because he clearly brought that glove way back up. Bills had a base hit off the second baseman, Bainsberger, and a dive to his right. It drove in a run. Malachi hitting 471, leading the team going in. That's average. That average has gone up. Throw back to first. Back in diving is Langford. Short lead. The pitch. Swung on and chopped over the mound. Could be two. Hammond steps in the bag for one. Fires to first. And it's a 6-3 double play. And there's two down in the third inning. That could not have been hit any better for the shortstop. Frank Ortega walked his first time up. Well, that's big for Sifkin. That could make it a very quick inning for him. The right-hander comes home. Fastball strike on the inner half at the knees. It's 0-1. Premier Farm Credit understands production ag. They've been serving our rural communities. Premier Farm Credit, that's a fastball there for a strike. Same spot in Sterling, Fort Morgan, Yuma, and Holyoke. No balls and two strikes. Fort Morgan, four Holy Family, four. Top of the third inning in Broomfield on an 81-degree afternoon. The pitch, breaking ball, called strike three. Ortega strikes out on three pitches. The Mustangs do get a base runner, but the base runner was eliminated on a double play. Two and a half innings are in the books. Mustang baseball is brought to you in part by Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance. Fort Morgan, four. Holy Family, four on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Mustangs have a new pitcher, and that is Jackson Langford. Colin Farley's now in right field, heading to the bottom of the third inning. Yeah, I think Coach Langford knew that Farley was being overwhelmed a bit with all the doubles that he gave up. Now you bring in a little bit of a harder thrower. Colin goes two innings, four runs on six hits. All the runs were earned. And Jackson Langford, his second appearance of the year, had one scoreless inning against Roosevelt. He will now face the heart of the order. Connor Cooney, Jared Delgado, and Blake Hammond. Cooney grounded to first his first time up. Well, Jackson being called upon to keep this at a 4-4 game in the third. They're seeing a completely different pitcher right now. Wine and offering. Fastball is swung on and lifted into the left center field gap for a base hit. And who's going to get over there? It's bobbled out in left field by Bills. Well, that's going to be a single and an error. That's a definite error there. No communication out there. That should have been strictly a single. Now the board is going to have it as a base hit, but that is most definitely an error as well. And there's the air up there on Fort Morgan's side. Yeah, got to make those plays. And the pitch swung on and popped up and foul uh, along the first base side. Fair, I should say, and Jesse Campa makes the catch. I thought it was twisting away. Still scoring the previous play. Nonetheless, two pitches, one hit and one out. Delgado, who doubled, is out number one. Here is Blake Hammond, who popped up his first time out. In fact, that pop out was to deep left field on a great play made by Bills. Well, Jackson just firing in strikes here in the early going in the third. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. The Mustangs for the Tigers for in Broomfield. Looking back is Langford, the stretch. Runner takes his lead from second. And the pitch. 
That's a fastball for a strike. Belt high. On the outer half, it's one and one. Here to Blake Hammond, the number five hitter in the lineup. Not a tall hitter, but he is stocky. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Runner goes. Swung on and popped into foul territory. This one is out of play. On the right side as Campa gives chase. One ball and two strikes. Nice jump there by Cooney. Thing is, you throw down to third, there's no backup. Bills is so far into left center, there's no backup at all. So Ortega's got to block anything that's in the dirt on a steal attempt. One and two, the pitch. Down and away off the glove of Langford. That'll be a wild pitch. And Cooney gets a free pass there to third. And he's going to home. And now the tag. And did he get him? Safe. Oh, he came around. Kale did not get back to the plate. Oh, terrible miscommunication there. Kale did not get back to his position. And Jackson dove on the throw back to him to get the runner. He slid around it. It's five to four. A play is never over. The ball was live. And give Connor Cooney the credit. And the Mustangs fell asleep. Completely fell asleep. And they trail for the first time in the game. Wind and pitch. Down and away. It's three and two. Yeah, you can't make mistakes against this team. They've got an error in the inning, and that's a mental error. And the three, two. Not even close. Down and away again. It's a walk. Here's Ryan Chacon, who grounded out to the shortstop. Beltran his first time up. Got to keep this at 5-4. We're still early, but Holy Family has scored five unanswered after the Mustangs tallied four in the top of the first. And the pitch up and away. One ball and no strikes. Boy, Jackson nearly had him, but Connor Cooney slid right around the tag. Up the third base side. Throw back to first, and he's going to be picked off. Hammond is picked off by a mile. Did not even dive back in. Boy, that was not good by Hammond. There's two down. I mean, Hammond doesn't look like a base dealer, and that time was completely fooled. One ball and no strikes. Wind and pitch. Come on, Jack. That thing was extremely high to the screen. 2-0. 5-4 oh. to four, Holy Family. Bottom of the third inning. In Broomfield. 2-0 pitch. Swing and a foul to the screen. Ball two, strike one. On deck is Blaine Bamesberger, who had a double his first time up. And time is called. All right, Brian Nichols says you have to account for the heat index up here. Temperature here in Broomfield is now 82, but up in the stands, a little bit warmer. That breaking ball is in the dirt. Ball three, strike one. Holy Family at some point will have to go to the bullpen, but Fort Morgan's already gone to the bullpen. Three and one, and the offering, and that is a strike at the knees with a fastball in the inner half. Three balls and two strikes, two outs and the bases empty in the bottom of the third inning. Holy Family leads Fort Morgan five to four. The offering, swing and a foul to the backstop on a fastball up at the letters. Nice crowd has settled in on both sides. Making plenty of noise. Payoff pitch. He bounced it in. Jackson Langford has issued his second walk of the inning. Here's Blamesberger. Blaine Bamesberger. Well, how big is that pickoff now? That could have been first and second with one out. 
The pitch and the breaking ball is off the glove of Ko. He's got it located. He's a couple of times there. He's not caught it cleanly. Of course, he hasn't had much action back there this year. One ball and no strikes. He's got that very patriotic chest protector. The stretch. Long pause. The pitch. That is down and away. You're going to make things tough on yourself. This is the number seven hitter. You get this guy out. Then you go eight, nine, and one in the fourth. But down in the count is Jackson Langford at 2-0. and oh. He's thrown just 10 balls and seven strikes. Throw back to first back and diving as Chacon. Yeah, you would think on Saturday that Campa and Ortega will pitch those games against Greeley West and Northridge. I'm not sure which order. The offering swung on. That's grounded a second. Fajardo's got it. Flips to second for the force. And side retired. Here in the bottom of the third inning. For Holy Family, they pick up a run. There was a base hit. There was a Mustang error. And a man left. Three complete. Mustang baseball is brought to you in part by B&B Appliance and Repair. The score. Holy Family 5, Fort Morgan 4 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 5-4. to four, Holy Family leads in the top of the fourth inning. It'll be Colin Farley who struck out his first time up, followed by Briggs Wheatley and Jackson Langford. Right-hander uh, Isaac Sifkin is 72 pitches deep. The offering swung on, fouled off to the right, a late swing. That wasn't that far from us, Brian. I mean, not too far away, but you know what? Brian Nickel did not flinch, and I did. I was a little bit closer. And there's a net, and you didn't see it. All right. That's why. Brian did not see it. The offering, that's a fastball, strike two. Just above the knees, down the middle, it's 0-2. Farley digs in from the right side. And the offering. Breaking ball called strike three. That was belt high, and there's two down. Collin strikes out for the second time. That hit the top of the zone. Briggs Wheatley is grounded out twice to the first baseman. Jared Delgado, the second one, was a tremendous play. And he backhanded on a dive. Isaac Sifkin delivers. Breaking ball is outside. Well, he might be getting better. No balls have been thrown in the dirt, but he's thrown probably about, my guess is at least 15 pitches in the dirt, at least. 1-0. Swing and a miss. Riggs came out of his shoes there trying to hit that one hard. One ball and one strike as that pitch was on the outer half. One ball, one strike, one out. The base is empty. Five to four, Holy Family in the fourth. Swing and a miss. Oh, man, come on. That pitch was in the dirt on the breaking ball. Mustangs had that issue on Saturday later in the game against Severance and have had that issue today at times. Briggs awaits. One, two. Swung on and fouled off to the left. A late swing on that fastball. Remains at one ball and two strikes. Here to Briggs Wheatley. Time is called. That was pitch number 79. Here's pitch number 80. Swung on. That ball is driven deep into the right center field gap. That's going to roll for a while. And Wheatley might have three bases. He rounds second. Briggs Wheatley is headed for third. And that's going to be a one-out triple for the junior Wheatley. And now he stumbles, but his back foot is on the bag. Luckily, his foot was on the bag. That almost looked like a trip there by Delgado. Jaden Delgado's going to get out of the way. The runner's got the... Uh, the right away, not the not the base, uh, uh, not the fielder. So that's a one out triple. And here is Jackson Langford who singled and grounded out. A base hit can tie the game here in the fourth inning. Briggs Wheatley now one for three. And this pitcher has four wild pitches to his credit. 
out of the stretch. Sifkin looks over a third time, is called. We've had a lot of good two-strike hitting. Jackson and Beltran in the first, the pitch. Breaking balls, goes all the way to the screen. Wheatley to the plate, this could be a close one. Heads the first slide, he's in there. He is in there, diving back towards Wheatley was the catcher, Syverson. And that was a close play, Syverson might be hurt. Wheatley went in head first, hands first, and the game is tied at five. Yeah, Syverson's got to get his breath. That's a good play by the catcher. The pitcher was not there to cover. Syverson's got to shake this off a bit. But that's the fifth wild pitch, and we're deadlocked at five. And hopefully he's okay. I think the glasses came off, and he did everything he could to make that play. But Wheatley was in there, sliding head first. And it's one ball and no strikes. Yeah, that was anything but routine on the wild pitch where Wheatley scored. He just used that speed and was able to get in there. I think Cyberson's going to be okay, but you're catching in this heat. And quite frankly, Sifkin has not done him any favors. The wild pitches, the balls in the dirt. I mean, he has had to work overtime, and we're not halfway through this game. Bank of Colorado is the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living in Colorado. Not just a bank in Colorado, their Bank of Colorado. Proud supporter of local sports and academics. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, that's even dangerous for Briggs sliding head and hands first to make sure he doesn't get hurt. So Langford digs back in. And again, the pitch count just continues to go way up there for Sifkin. 81 deep. And the pitch, very high and inside. Two balls and no strikes. To Jackson Langford, singled and grounded out. One for two in the game, the pitch, low. 3-0. Sifkin ready, and the offering. That's up and away. It's a walk. Langford walks on four pitches, and we might have a pitching change here. Let's see. That's 84 pitches in. Yep, we're going to have a pitching change in the top of the fourth inning in Broomfield. We will tell you about the new pitcher here in just a couple of minutes. Mustang Baseball is brought to you in part by Stubbs Gas and Oil. The score in the fourth inning, Fort Morgan five, Holy Family five on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The new pitcher is Connor Cooney, the left-hander, as Nick Beltran will step in. Let's see what changes we have. It looks like Brennan Bennett's gonna go to center field. And Sifkin will be at second base. Blamesberger or Bainsberger will be in left. The pitch down and in. One ball and no strikes. A single and a strikeout for Beltran. One on and one out. One across. The offering. That's a fastball for a strike just below number level. It's one and one. Cooney just his second appearance. An ERA of zero is allowed. It's just pitched three innings. That's it. And the 1-1. And he bunts it up the third base side. And it's fielded by the pitcher. Throw to first. It is a little bit offline, but he's out. We'll call that a sacrifice. One to three. Didn't get enough of the third base side. There's two down. Intended it to bunt it up the third base side, just didn't get enough of it. Two down for Campo, who's grounded out and walked. Jesse Campo officially at 0 for 1. Well, this turns into a basically a four inning game with a game tied at five. 
Pitcher of record for Fort Morgan now is Jackson Langford because the Mustangs have tied it. The pitch, fastball, strike. Down the middle, just above the knees, it's 0-1. Langford off of second. And the pitch, swung on and tapped foul up the third base side. No balls and two strikes. Fort Morgan scored four runs in the first and one in this inning. Holy Family has scored in every inning. Two in the first, two in the second, and run in the third. One ball, one strike, one on, two down. Campo's got that wide stance. It shortens up the swing when you do that normally. Get a more compact swing. The pitch swung on and lifted down the right side. If it's fair, it's trouble. That is a base hit. Langford rounds third. Jackson's going to score. And again, he just stuck the bat out. Campa delivers, and the Mustangs lead. Six to five. A gorgeous job of hitting. Beautiful job of hitting there by Langford. Here is Fajardo. Short lead at first, the pitch, breaking balls, a strike. No balls in one strike. Bajardo in the game has walked and struck out. Short lead, the offering, and he takes that low on the breaking ball. And the count levels at one and one. One ball, one strike, two across here in the fourth inning. Bajardo awaits. The pitch, swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt. Yeah, one fishing there, it's one and two. To Braden Fajardo. Can he deliver in this spot? One ball, two strikes. Cooney, the left-hander, comes home. Called strike three, fastball at the knees. And the Mustangs do score two runs on two hits. No errors and a man left. Mustang baseball brought to you in part by Morgan Community College. We have played three and a half innings. It's Fort Morgan six, Holy Family five on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, can the Mustangs keep the Tigers off the board here in the fourth inning? It's 6-5, to five, Fort Morgan. Holy Family has scored in each of the first three innings. John Beltran back with you. Here's Isaac Sifkin. And again, nothing wrong with these guys and their bats. Fort Morgan is being out hit 8-6, to six, but they've got the one-run lead. Sifkin is the eight hitter, but he singled his first time up. The pitch, fastball is up and away. Eight, nine, and one. Siefkin, Delgado, and Syverson. Jackson Langford begins his second inning of work in relief of Colin Farley. The pitch swung on and grounded a second. Nice play to, to his left by Fajardo for the out. Brayden Fajardo in the hole with an excellent play and a ball headed for right field. That's the defense you need. There's one down. That is an athletic play by Braden Fajardo. We are straight up at five o'clock mountain time. This is Morgan County's B106, KPRB Brush Fort Morgan. Actually just second shy of five o'clock. Jaden Delgado grounded back to the mound. The pitch, fastball is up and away. One ball and no strikes. Need that type of defense if you're going to beat this team. And the offering, same location. This is by far, by far the weak hitter in the lineup. Jaden Delgado hitting 222. And it's 3 0. He bounces it in. Wow. You hate to see this. The pitch. And that hit him on the left shoulder. 
That was not good. Not good. And now you've got Cyberson who singled and doubled. And his second double drove in two runs to tie the game at four. Yeah, I mean, it's not an automatic out, don't get me wrong, but 222 is not 400, which a lot of these guys are hitting. Two-step lead for Delgado at first. The pitch, up and away, got to find the zone. Jackson Langford, five in a row out of the zone. He's been really struggling this game. 16 balls and nine strikes. One ball and no strikes. And time is called. Hard to out slug Holy Family. You have to out pitch him a little bit. A little bit. 1 0. And that one bounces in. Nice block by Kale Langford. Why? I don't know why he went with the breaking ball there. 1 0. He haven't thrown a strike. Got to go fastball. Two balls and no strikes. The stretch. Throw back to first. Back in diving is Delgado. Six to five, Fort Morgan, bottom of the fourth inning, but Holy Family has had base runners on in every inning, including this one. The pitch, swing and a miss. I'm surprised he went fishing on a pitch just be below belt level. Two and one. And the offering, swung on and lifted into left center field. Briggs Wheatley to his right. Settles under it and makes the two-handed grab. Two outs. Back to first is Delgado. Here is Brennan Bennett who doubled and flew to center. He's hit the ball hard twice. Well, you don't have to throw a lot of strikes, but just make sure those strikes transfer into outs or result in outs. Holy Family at 10 and 1 going in. The pitch up and away. One ball and no strikes. Imagine how good Jackson can be if he throws strikes. He's recorded five outs and he's thrown just 11 strikes on 29 pitches. Throw back to first, back in diving is Delgado. He's had a nice defensive play from Fajardo to begin this inning. One ball, no strikes, one on, two down, six to five. Fort Morgan leads Holy Family in Broomfield in the home half of the fourth. Chase Redding is warming up in the right field bullpen, a sophomore. Let's see if he sees some action. The pitch, oh, that bounces in, and a runner takes off for second, late throw, and a slide, and he's in there on the wild pitch. Two and zero. Oh. No defense against this. Eleven strikes and nineteen balls for Langford, and we still have a six to five Fort Morgan lead. Looking back, two zero -oh pitch, way outside. Well, and you got Connor Cooney on deck. It does not get any easier. Three balls and no strikes. The pitch, not even close. Up and away. And Cooney has grounded out to first and singled into left center. And now let's see, here's Coach Langford out to the mound. Yeah, this is just a mess right now for Jackson. He has thrown 32 pitches, 21 of those are balls. Somehow, it's only, he's only allowed to run over an inning and two-thirds. But that's going to come home to roost without throwing strikes here. So let's see what's going to happen. This could be his last inning. He right now is the pitcher of records since Fort Morgan is the lead. Trying to break up that rhythm. Established by Holy Family, and here we go with Connor Cooney. Officially a one for two.
Delgado is the lead runner at second. The stretch. And the pitch up and away with a fastball. One ball and no strikes. If he doesn't get him out, Jared Delgado more than likely will face a new pitcher. Stretch and the offering. That's a fastball for a strike just above belt level. It's one and one. One ball, one strike, two on, two down. Bottom of the fourth inning, the Mustangs lead by a run in Broomfield. And the pitch, swung on and foul to the backstop. One and two, but does he have an out pitch here? Jackson, no strikeouts, three walks, just one hit allowed. Not like they're hitting him hard. He's responsible for a lot of the runners just by walking them. One, two pitch. Swung on and lifted down the left field side. That's going to get in there for a base hit. Malachi Bills with a long chase. He was shaded towards left center, and that's going to score a couple of runs. Trail runner headed for the plate, and it's going to be a two-out, two-run double by Connor Cooney. As Bennett scores, Holy Family has reclaimed the lead at 7-6. to six. And the Mustangs did not play him well at all. Malachi Bills was shaded towards left center. That ball was hit along the line. They did not position the defense correctly for that one. Here's Delgado, who's doubled and popped out. Well, they didn't expect him to go the other way like that. And the offering. Fastball for a strike, thigh high, it's 0-1. It's a double fest for Holy Family. Stretch. And the offering. Swung on, that ball's driven into deep right center field. Wheatley's got a beat on it to his left, makes the running catch. On another ball that was driven into the alley. Side retired, two runs. And that hit, a two-run double by Connor Cooney. No errors and a man left. Mustang baseball is brought to you in part by Western Engineering Consultants. Four innings complete. Holy Family has reclaimed the lead over Fort Morgan and Broomfield. Holy Family 7, Fort Morgan 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Kale Langford begins the fifth inning. The Mustangs trail by a run, 7-6 to six in Broomfield. Lots of two-out thunder by both sides. The pitch, breaking ball is a strike at the knees. On the outer half, it's 0-1 to Kale Langford. A two-run single and a walk. He's been on base twice. And the offering. Oh, swing and a miss and a breaking ball in the dirt. 0-2, Connor Cooney's the second pitcher for Holy Family in relief of Isaac Sifkin. 6-7-8 and eight for Fort Morgan in the fifth inning. And the pitch in the dirt bounces away. One ball and two strikes. Six runs, six hits for the Mustangs. They've committed an error. Seven runs, eight hits for Holy Family. No errors committed. One and two to Kale Langford. Holy Family has scored in every frame. The pitch up and away. Two balls and two strikes. Went with a heater. And let's see if Jackson Langford is going to come back out for the fifth inning on the mound. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Threw the fastball right by him. One down. For Connor Cooney. That is his second strikeout. Malachi Bills singled, driving in a run in the first inning, hit into a fielder's choice. Actually, it was a 6-3 double play. 6-3 double play, second time up. Out of the stretch with the bases empty. The offering, the benders a strike on the outer half, knee high at 0-1. No balls and one strike to Malachi Bills. Had a lot of action in left field. Unfortunately, a lot of the balls have not been fieldable except one. The pitch, 
Swing and a miss. Man, this guy just brought a blazing fastball on the inner half. It tied him up. It's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. Holy Family looking for a 1-2-3 inning. They have not had one yet. They faced the minimum in the second. But the double play made it a minimum batter inning. Syverson lays down the sign. 0-2. Up and away. One ball and two strikes. Frank Ortega will hit next. Malachi with a wide stance. The pitch. Swing and a miss. I think got him with a breaking ball there. And there's two down. Same location that he got Langford on. Two down here for Ortega. And the way he swung at that pitch in Kale. Kales might have been on a little bit of a bender as well. Because this guy's really bringing it. Ortega's walked and struck out. Hopefully the Mustangs have not run out of hits here. The pitch. Strike. Fastball. Down the middle. Belt high. It's 0-1. The base is empty. Connor Cooney at the belt. The offering. Curveball is way outside. Let's see. Let's see if it's getting any cooler here. From 82 to 82. That is a no. One ball, one strike. The stretch. And the pitch. Fastball is above the letters. And outside. Two and one. Man, if you can clear the nine hitter, that would help. The offering, curveball is a beauty. On the inner half at the knees, it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And this guy's not throwing one pitch in the dirt. Everything gets to the catcher. Two, two. And did he swing? I think he did on the breaking ball in the dirt. Ortega went around. And Connor Cooney strikes out the side in order in the fifth inning. To the bottom of the fifth we go. In Broomfield, Holy Family 7, Fort Morgan 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, this is one heck of a spot. The varsity debut on the hill for sophomore Chase Redding in a 6-5 to five game that is now 7-6. to six. Holy Family's got the lead. Mustangs were up 6-5. to five. Mustangs were up four to nothing after half an inning. And he will face the five, six, and seven hitters, Blake Hammond, Ryan Chacon, and Blaine Bainsberger. He's got some good mechanics out there. Let's see how it translates against this lineup. Well, they got to keep it at this right now. Down to your final six outs. This is a game, if you lose, it's not going to really kill you in the RPI because of Holy Family's number seven rating. The ones that will kill you is if you lose any of the last four games. 11 and five should get you in 10 and six. I don't think so. It would be a nail biter to get in. And after today, three of the last four games are at home, including a doubleheader on Saturday against Greeley West at noon and Northridge at four o'clock. Blake Hammond has popped to left and walked. 0 for 1. And the pitch. Fastball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Boy, what a spot here for this sophomore. Wine and offering. Swung on. That ball is driven deep to left field. Bills his way back, and it's a home run. On the second varsity pitch thrown by Chase Redding, Blake Hammond goes deep. Holy Family leads 8-6 to six in the fifth inning. That was a no-doubter. Again, it's not, not these huge dimensions out here. That'll bring up Ryan Chacon, who's grounded out and walked. Well, you get that out of the way. Not a problem. Chacon is 0-1 officially. 
still in this game. Only down two. And the pitch. Swing and a miss through the fastball right by him. It's 0-1. Get that first out, and the ERA goes from infinity to a much smaller number. The offering. Breaking ball swung on and missed to the screen. That ball bounced in, and Chacon thought it was a fastball. No balls and two strikes. Here to Ryan Chacon, the number six hitter. And the offering. Swing and a miss on a fastball in the dirt. Langford applies the tag. One down. How about that for Chase Redding? And keep in mind that for Fort Morgan pitching today, that is their first strikeout. Bainsberger. Swings and sends a grounder to second, and it's off Fajardo, picks it up, throws to first in time. Nice job by Fajardo, staying with the baseball. Two down here for Isaac Siefkin, who has singled and hit that ground ball to second that Fajardo made a great play on. Well, I'll tell you right now, Chase Redding looks very impressive. He's just attacking these hitters. Even the home run, he went right after him. Redding looks in, and the pitch, and the breaking ball is fouled back. No balls and one strike. Here from Redding to Sifkin. Laying down the sign is K.O. Langford in the bottom of the fifth inning. The offering bounces in. Count level at one and one. Well, win or lose, this has been a good, solid, competitive game against a team that is going to be in the running for the state title in Holy Family. And the 1-1 pitch, swung on and lifted into shallow left center field. Wheatley coming in, makes the running catch. And that's it. 1-2-3 after the leadoff home run from Blake Hammond. Five innings are in the books. Mustang Baseball is brought to you in part by Pete's Co-op, the score. Going into the sixth inning, Holy Family 8, Fort Morgan 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Chase Redding will hit in the nine hole to begin the sixth and the breaking ball is a strike. No balls and one strike against the left-hander Connor Cooney who is the pitcher of record now for Holy Family. And the offering, swing and a miss and a ball down and away. It's 0-2. This is another tough spot. First varsity at bat for Chase Redding. Pitch very well in the fifth inning. Out of the stretch. And the pitch, down and away with a breaking ball. It's 1-2. and two. Connor Cooney struck out the side. Langford, Bills, and Ortega in the fifth inning. One ball and two strikes. Cyberson lays down the sign. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Fastball above the letters on the inner half. There's one down. Sifkin had a total of five strikeouts. Cooney's got five already. And how, what has he thrown? Let's see. Here's Waitley, who's one for three with a triple. And and a run scored. The offering, swing and a miss and a breaking ball down in the zone. No balls and one strike. Connor Cooney is in complete control right now for Holy Family. The stretch and the pitch. And that ball hit him, ooh. Oh boy, got him somewhere in the hand. I think he's okay. Boy, that got him in a sensitive area, but he didn't react like it hurt. That got him somewhere around the hand. Maybe the arm. Yeah, got him on the near the elbow. Thank goodness. Tough kid. Jackson Langford has singled, grounded out, and walked. He's officially one for two. Tying run is at the plate. The stretch and the offering. 
And that's low in the dirt. One ball and no strikes. One and zero to Jackson Langford. Eight to six. Holy Family in the top of the sixth inning. This is the number seven team in the state. The pitch, swing and a foul to the backstop on a fastball up at the letters. And the count evens at one and one. Fort Morgan led four to nothing after half an inning, getting a big two-run single from K.O. Langford. Four to two after one. Four to four after two. Five to four. Holy Family after three. Six to five, Fort Morgan after three and a half. Seven to six after four, eight to six. Now throw to first, runner goes to second. There is the throw to second, the tag, and he's in there. Wheatley stole the base. The throw is up the shortstop side. Wow, got away with it there. It's a stolen base for Wheatley. And now you've got a couple of opportunities to drive in a run that would draw the Mustangs to within a run. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. Langford awaits the pitch, and here it is. Up and away with a fastball. Two balls and one strike. Beltran waits to hit next. Off of second is Wheatley. Time is called. Cooney has not been in trouble and gotten into trouble since he came in, but a little bit of traffic right now. 2-1, breaking ball's a beauty. Thigh high, down the middle, it's 2-2 two and two to Jackson Langford. Coney looks in for the sign, relayed from the dugout to the catcher, Syverson. Wheatley with a four-step lead at second. Long pause and the pitch, up and away with a fastball. 3-2. Three balls, two strikes. The stretch and time is called again. Three and two here to Langford. Payoff pitch in the dirt. One with the off speed, it's a walk. And here comes Nick Beltran, Langford is on again. Beltran has singled, struck out, and a sack bunt. Well, you've got your three and four hitters coming up. Doesn't get more important than right now. Here with Beltran at the plate. Here's the stretch from Cooney. And the pitch. And the breaking ball is a strike on the inner half. It's 0-1. That certainly was not a hitter's pitch. He had to take that one. No balls and one strike. To the senior shortstop, Nick Beltran. Wheatley at second, Langford at first. And the offering. Swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt. He's not seeing the ball at all. That was awful. That is a not, a, not a good swing on a pitch that was in the dirt. It's 0-2. He's got to adjust here. No balls and two strikes. Already struck out in this game, and he's way down in the count now. It was a two-strike hit that he had his first time up. And the pitch. Called strike three. Fastball down the middle. Letter high. Strikes out on three pitches. Two down. Terrible at bat. Horrendous at bat. Two down for Jesse Campa. Campa has grounded out, walked, and singled. He's one for two. He thought there was a breaking ball coming. He didn't see anything out of that. It's lefty against lefty. That makes it tougher, but still, you got to be ready to hit there, and he wasn't. Pitch to Campa, and the breaking ball's up and away. One ball and no strikes. With Brayden Fajardo on deck. And the offering. Swung on and lifted. In. Caught by the shortstop on a leap. Blake Hammond on the soft liner robs Camp of a base hit. And the Mustangs are denied in the sixth inning. They strand two as we go to the bottom of the six. It's Holy Family eight, Fort Morgan six on B106. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network, and there's some chattering going on there. There's some chattering going on. 
And I don't know what's going on. Somebody's going to get ejected here in a second. Josh Langford is not happy. We'll be back here in one minute. Well, I can tell you what happened there before the end of the inning. It looked like Briggs Wheatley got tripped up again by the third baseman, Jaden Delgado. He got tripped up hitting a triple, and that's when Josh Langford took exception to it. It happened once, but then a second time, and Fort Morgan not happy. They could have thrown him out of the game in Delgado, but anybody could have gotten thrown out at that point. Eight to six, Holy Family in the bottom of the sixth inning. Chase Redding beginning his second inning of work. Mustangs have to stay composed. Down by two runs. They had a first and second threat, but Beltran struck out. And Campo with a line out. So here we go. 9-1-2. and two. Jaden Delgado, Andrew Syverson, and Brennan Bennett against Chase Redding. Yeah, and you got to cut that out if you're the third baseman for Holy Family. you got to cut that out. Get out of the way. Briggs could have barreled into him. Then he would have been thrown out of the game. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Here to Delgado. He's grounded out and been hit by a pitch. Holy Family leads by two in the bottom of the sixth inning. And the offering. That's a fastball strike on the outer half. It's one and one. It's good that you have a sophomore on the mound. Chase Redding, very composed, showing a lot of poise with what he did in the fifth inning after giving up the home run to Blake Hammond. And he 1-1. Fastball is low. Ball two, strike one. Wine and offering. That's high. Well, you got to throw it in there to the number nine hitter. This could be a long inning. If you don't get this guy out, three balls and one strike. Wine in the pitch. Oh, he bounced it in there. Chase completely short-armed that pitch. That'll bring up Syverson, who's single-doubled, and he's popped out. He is two for three. The leadoff man is on via the free pass, and that's the second time Delgado's been walked. That's killed Fort Morgan because he scored the first time. The pitch, fastball to the screen. You got to show some poise here. Runner advances to second on the wild pitch. Stay composed. You can stay in this game. One ball and no strikes. Just get the out at first at this point, but you got to throw a strike here. The pitch, swung on, popped foul. And out of play. I didn't even see that. It was over my head. One and one. Chase Redding going after this hitter, Syverson. One ball, one strike, one on. Nobody out bottom of the sixth inning. Holy Family leads Fort Morgan eight to six. Off of second is Delgado. And the pitch. Upstairs with a breaking ball. It's two and one. Two balls and one strike. And the offering. Swung on and lifted into left field for a base hit. Bills will get it back in. Delgado to third. It's a base hit for Cybers in his third of the game. Little soft liner into left field. Mustangs might have to play the infield in now. And let's see, there'll be a courtesy runner at first. And Dylan Dahlgren, he scored earlier in this game. Brennan Bennett has doubled, popped out, and walked. He's one for two. Still nobody out here in the sixth inning. Fort Morgan trying to limit the damage. None have scored, but we have trouble here brewing. Redding stretches, Redding delivers, swung on and grounded a third. Ortega's got it, throws to second for one, back to first, and that's wide of the target. A run's going to score. 
And it's nine to six on the fielder's choice, six to four. Make it five to four on the fielder's choice. Connor Cooney has grounded out, singled and doubled. He's two for three. And Cooney has pitched very well as well. Left-handed hitter. Throw back to first, and that throw was wide of the bag. Nice job by Campa bringing it in. Mustangs had an early 4-0 lead, but this Holy Family team always comes to bat. The stretch. And the pitch. Swing and a miss and a fastball down at the knees. No balls and one strike. And that's the thing. They have not held Holy Family off the board. They've not had a big inning. But two runs in the first, two in the second, a run in the third, two in the fourth, single runs in the fifth and sixth. Fastball below the knees. It's one and one. Meanwhile, Fort Morgan has only scored in two of the first six innings. Four in the first and two in the fourth. One ball, one strike, one out, one on, one in. The pitch. Down and in with a fastball. Ball two, strike one. Here to Connor Cooney. One step lead at first. And the offering swung on and grounded a second. Fajardo's going to have just one play to first. He makes it for the out. And Bennett to second, two down. Two down for Jared Delgado, who has doubled and popped out twice. Well, let's see. We're going to have a... Uh... Why? Blake Hammond. Is that the hitter? I don't have him as the hitter. I have Delgado hitting. I got the right score with two down. The pitch... Bounces away to the screen. Is that the right hitter? All right. I must have I must have missed one here. One ball and no strikes. Here to Blake Hammond. Here's the stretch. And the offering. Up and in. Yeah, it's the on-deck hitter, Delgado. I had him flip-flop. Delgado's the one who hit the home run the last time up. I guess I had the hitters flip-flopped here. Two balls and no strikes. So Delgado's the one that hit the home run earlier, not Hammond. And that pitch is down and away. Runner at third off the wild pitch earlier. 3-0. and oh. Three balls and no strikes. 9-6, to six, Holy Family, bottom of the sixth inning. And the pitch. Now it's a walk to... Hammond, here's Delgado. So looking at it correctly now, Delgado's the one who homered. And Delgado is one for two with that home run. Here comes Josh Langford with a nine to six Holy Family lead. And geez, Holy Family doesn't, they don't stop talking over there. They do not stop talking over there. Let's see if we're going to have a pitching change. There'll be some strategy on the hill. I mean, these Holy Family coaches are not helping matters at all. They're trying to get uh, things on their side. And quite frankly, you know, there's no politicking out here. This is baseball. Nine to six. I mean, this is a Catholic school, and I'm Catholic. I don't want to get to the, to this point here, but we're seeing some behavior out here on the Holy Family side that's left something to be desired here. Lots of chatter there from the third base dugout. And it's not for the team necessarily. It's against Fort Morgan's team. And now we have a Mustang coach out there on the first base side outside of Josh Lankford. First and third. And now the hitter is Delgado. And again, he was the one who homered, so I had the line of flip-flop there. I apologize earlier in the game. Chase Redding has allowed a run in each of the two innings, but he's pitched pretty well. He's had some control issues at times, but it's his first varsity start 
Her first varsity appearance, I should say, is a sophomore. Third pitcher today in a game started by Colin Farley, a junior. Then the senior Jackson Langford came in. Two down, two on, and one across. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The stretch and the pitch. Swing and a foul to the screen. No balls and one strike. Delgado homered to begin the fifth inning. And he ripped that baby over the left field fence. And the offering. And the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and one strike. Again, Delgado at one for two. Runners take their leads. The pitch swung on and lifted into left field. Bills is back. He does have room. Now he comes in. Now Wheatley is going to cut it off. He'll make the catch at a gap. And that does it in the inning for Holy Family. One run, one hit, no errors, and two men left. We head to the seventh. Mustang baseball is brought to you in part by Stubbs Gas and Oil. The score, it is Holy Family 9, Fort Morgan 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's begin the seventh inning. The Mustangs trail 9-6 to six to Holy Family. It'll be Braden Fajardo, Kale Langford, and Malachi Bills here against the left-hander Connor Cooney. Fajardo has walked and struck out twice. He is 0 for 2. I'll tell you what, they better not hit a batter. This is going to get ugly if they hit a batter. If they hit a Mustang, they already hit Wheatley. This could get ugly with a three-run lead. You don't want to hit a batter. The pitch in the dirt with a breaking ball. One ball and no strikes. You want to make sure that you stay away from hitting a batter. You can pitch inside, but hitting a batter is different. Nine runs on ten hits for Holy Family. That's a fastball down the middle for a strike. Six runs, six hits for Fort Morgan. They've committed an error. Connor Cooney's done a great job for Holy Family. Wonderful job here. Here's the stretch and the offering in the dirt. Two balls and one strike. Like I said, Holy Family, one of the top teams in the state, and Fort Morgan has played with them the entire game after the early 4-0 lead. Out of the stretch with the bases empty. And the 2-1 up and away. Three balls and one strike. Kale Langford is on deck. And the pitch swung on and grounded up the middle. Shortstop Delgado gobbles it up, throws to first for the out. And there's one down. One down for Langford, a two run single, a walk, and he struck out. He is one for two. The Mustangs don't rally. They will fall to 7-5 and five with four games remaining. All very winnable games. More winnable than today. The pitch. Breaking ball is low. 1-0 to Langford. The Holy Family knows they've been in a battle here with the Mustangs. The offering. That's down and in. 2-0. Kale's going to be taking here as instructed by Coach Langford. Two balls and no strikes. On deck is Bills. And the offering. That's low. 3-0. and Three balls and no strikes. To Kale Lang for the pitch. Grooved in there for a strike at the knees. It's 3-1. and one. Yeah, I hate to say it. I know a lot of Catholic high school baseball teams, including my own in Miami, and they can talk a lot. It's not always friendly. 3-1. Curve ball, strike two. And it appears it's happened here with Holy Family. I mean, I don't know if Fort Morgan's totally innocent, so I don't know the whole story. 3-2 pitch. Swung on and line foul off to the right. But we do know it appears that Briggs Wheatley was tripped up twice on the bases in this game by the third baseman, Jaden Delgado. And that's what incited the little near scuffle about an inning ago. 3-2. Outside, it's a walk. It is a walk to 
Kale Langford, here's Malachi Bills. Malachi in the game has singled in a run. Hit into a 6-3 double play and struck out. One step lead at first. And the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. It's 1-0. and You got to get to the top of the lineup here. And Josh Langford now is over towards a third base dugout. And he's responding to whatever is being said by the Holy Family dugout. He's not happy. He's not happy. Josh Langford is having a conversation. And, I mean, he normally is composed over there in the third base dugout, but he can hear stuff. One ball and no strikes. I mean, will they just play ball and shut up? Enough already. I mean, they don't have to chatter from the third base dugout. One ball and no strikes. At least not that something that's going to incite something controversial. It's outside at 2-0. and oh. Two balls and no strikes. 9-6 to six, Holy Family. One on, one out in the top of the seventh. One step lead. And the pitch. Upstairs, 3-0. and oh. Cooney's not happy. He thought he had strike one. And instead, it's 3-0. and oh. Frank Ortega is the tying run on deck if Malachi reaches the pitch. Up and away. It's a walk. It is a walk. First and second. Here comes a visit to the hill. And let's see if we're going to have a pitching change. Tying run is at the plate after back-to-back -back walks. Frank Ortega has walked and struck out twice. In the game, he is 0 for 2, and Colin Farley will be hitting in the next spot. Well, you've gotten it to this point that you are going to have the tying run at home plate in junior Frank Ortega. Ortega's officially at 0 for 2. Coming off an excellent game against Severance. A home run and an RBI single. Runners take their leads. The stretch. And the pitch. Strike with a breaking ball. We're going to change things up. You'll listen to this a little bit differently right now. We're having an issue. So here we go. You'll pick up a little bit more of the crowd right now. No balls. And one strike. The stretch. And the offering. Swing and a miss and a breaking ball. It's 0-2. All right, Frank. Come on, baby. 0-2 here to Frank Ortega. Come on, Frank. I on the ball. First and second with one out in the seventh. Cooney stretches, the left-hander looks back, and the pitch called strike three. A breaking ball in the outer half. Ortega strikes out for the third time, two outs. And here is Colin Farley. Farley has struck out twice himself. 0 for 2 in the game. If you get to Wheatley, there's a shot here. You gotta get to Briggs Wheatley with first and second and two out in the seventh. And the offering down and in. One ball and no strikes to Colin Farley. Nine to six, Holy Family in the top of the seventh. The Mustangs have two on base. Kale Langford at second, Malachi Bills at first. The stretch and the pitch. Fastball away, no throw back to second, it's 2-0. Oh. Two balls and no strikes. Here to Colin Farley. Well, you want to end, if you're going to end this game, you want Wheatley up there. He's a clutch hitter, the pitch. That's a strike, went in with a breaking ball, 2-1. and one. That's a good take, and now Farley's instructed to swing if it's there. 
Two balls, one strike, two down, two on. Nine to six, Holy Family leads Fort Morgan. Here in the seventh inning, Cooney wants the signs relayed back to him. Cyberson lays down the sign. And the pitch, strike two. Same pitch, same location, same call. Two balls and two strikes. Farley awaiting the pitch. Here it is. Called strike three. Boy, that looked like it was off the plate. Farley strikes out and Holy Family defeats Fort Morgan. Nine to six. We'll take a short break. Holy Family nine, Fort Morgan six. On B106. B106.com and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Mustang Post Game Show is brought to you by Morgan Community College. Here to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. Check them out at morgancc.edu. Holy Family wins the game today 9-6. Nine, to nine runs, 10 hits, no errors. Five left on base for the Mustangs. Six runs, six hits, one error. And nine left on base for Fort Morgan. Holy Family had nine runs, 10 hits, no errors, and five left on base. Let's clarify that. The time of the game was two hours and 15 minutes. The winning pitcher was Connor Cooney. Jackson Langford took the loss. Here's how the game went. Cale Langford with a two-out, two-run single made it two to nothing. Mustangs went up three to nothing and an RBI single from Malachi Bills. A wild pitch made it four to nothing. Back came Holy Family. Brennan Bennett with an RBI double, making it four to one. And then it was Blake Hammond with a run scoring double, making it four to two. Then Holy Family would score three more unanswered runs, getting a big two run double from Andrew Syverson. So it was five to four, but the Mustangs would make it a six to five game. Briggs Wheatley scored in a wild pitch after tripling. And then Jesse Campbell with a two-out single, making it 6-5. to five. However, it was then Holy Family taking control. Connor Cooney with a two-run double, making it 7-6. to six. Jared Delgado had a home run, 8-6. to six. They tacked on a run in the seventh. Holy Family moves to 11-1. And, and the Mustangs drop to 7-5. and five. Next up for Fort Morgan. They've got a doubleheader coming up on Saturday on B106 at noon against Greeley West and at 4 o'clock against Northridge. Final score once again. It was Holy Family 9, Fort Morgan 6 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.